Hello, Griffin here, back with another episode of Oxygen Not Included. I went ahead and primed up this uh, this area here with some more uh, electrolyzers, and I got me a nice gas reservoir in there. Although we're not having to use it just quite yet, we're st we're using up enough of the hydrogen so that uh, uh, we're not having to utilize a lot of the uh, backflow on the gas. But that being said, we're using a lot less coal, so that's good. Although we are start, you'll use, still using a little bit of coal. I'm a little worried about the water supply. Uh, we do have a cool steam vent, so it is popping water out here, but uh, uh, st I still am a little bit worried about it. We do have uh, to keep going up here, and we got some more polluted water and some ice up here, so we might be able to do something with that. We could always get this polluted water and uh, convert it over to uh, to clean water if we need to and uh, that will help with that problem uh, likewise going down we have got we have reached the, the lava layer there and so uh, I am putting in lots of insulated tiles here and if we take a look at the temperature you can see it's the temperature is starting to get pretty warm right here so uh, it's a good thing I went and put those in there good thing I did uh, over here is pretty warm as well from this cool steam vent quote unquote cool steam vent so I'll probably need to put in some uh, protection from that as well up here we've got a nice uh, hot area here and then uh, we probably need to go ahead and put in some protection up here at the top as well so we're gonna go ahead and do that it does take a while for them to make this uh, but it'd be worth it if we uh, can protect ourselves from the heat. So I'm thinking we'll just go ahead and pop it in right here. Hold on. Before I do that, I want to make sure we get these things in the proper position. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. So let me cancel this. We will put them right here. Oh yeah. Very nice. And I'll dig this out. Just like so. We will be getting some into some slime there, but I don't think it'll be a problem for now. There is lots of coal here as well, so that'll be good. And then I'll also put in same thing this way. Like that. And then we'll put in the insulated tile. Whoops. Not what I wanted. Alright, so I did get ranching unlocked. So that is something that we can totally start putting together here. Uh, I don't remember exactly how... To, I was going to watch a video about how to set up ranching, but I forgot to. So... I'll probably just put it up here. I think this will probably be a big enough area. And I think I remember... <laughs> how it goes um, I think it's something like two here and then a door and then we'll do well that's unfortunate isn't it that we got that blocked off we'll have to use a ladder over here on this side is this going to be big enough? maybe we'll, we'll just put it in here for now We'll put that in there for now, and then uh, hopefully we can get some ranching put together sooner rather than later. Let's do a critter drop-off right inside the door. Actually, let's leave a little bit of room here. We'll do a critter drop-off, and then we'll do a critter feeder. Alright, and then what else do we need? Do we need a groomer of some sort like that? Uh... Critter bait? No. Yeah, we don't have a groomer in here yet. How do I get a groomer? Let's look at the critter stuff over here. Uh, gas range. Grooming station. Oh, I do have it. It's just not in food. What is it? Furniture? No. Stations? Yes, grooming station. Okay. I think I need two critter feeders if I remember correctly and then uh, 
Yeah, let's see. For the ch -ch -ch stable, it's got to be minimum 12, maximum 96. All right, so once we get this closed in, we'll see how how much room that's going to take. And then I can start wrangling up some of these uh, hatches here. And maybe start cooking them even. Eh? Won't that be nice? Yes, it will. But more importantly, we can get their eggs. All right, so let's uh, do critter. We're going to do uh, hatches and hatchlings. Okay, and then for food, for hatches and hatchlings, we will do, what, sandstone? Sedimentary rock? I don't remember. I think we can do either. Man, I wish I could remember that. I've probably got plenty of either, so... Let's do sedimentary rock, because I think that turns them into stone hatches. Okay. And then for you, <clears throat> the grooming station allows the rancher to sign the critters. Okay. I think uh, I think just getting all the rest of this finished is, is the most important thing. Okay. So that will be good, and we'll go ahead and pop this at higher priority. There we go. Excellent. All right. Very good. I think I might need to add in some more mess tables. Yes, because uh, you have to have one for each duplicate. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight. Let's destroy this. And then we'll put in some different decor in here. Uh, furniture. We'll put in uh, some corner molding up here. <laughs> the mess hall is right next to all this horrible decor. Yikes. Where's my decor overlay here? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's ugly. It's an ugly place in here, folks. It's ugly. Yeah. It is ugly. That's okay. What am I making this out of? Corner molding it made of sandstone. Hold on, let's uh, no, let's get, let's cancel that. There we go. I want to make the uh, make it out of granite. Corner molding out of granite because that'll give us extra decor here. Whoops, I keep forgetting it's not R. Just we'll flip that around. There we go. That'll do. And then I can put another one of these right here. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so is this a considered a room yet? No, it's not. Oh, because this is not blocked off. Okay. Yeah. Trouble. Always something, isn't it? Always something. And if I dig this out up here. Like so, then we can get we can get to work on that, and that'll be good. Okay, very nice, very nice. Some more water over here. We might be able to utilize. Might be able to get something out of here. New printables are available. Ooh. What we got here? Some rust. Uh, we got uh, Turner. He's good into cooking, decorating, and digging. Uh, oh, Marie here is good at ranching as well. Uh, in decreased bathroom use speed. Interesting. Uh, I really don't need another duplicate at the moment, so I'm going to reject them. We're holding pretty steady at eight at the moment, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with that. Yeah, the water level is dropping uh, pretty rapidly here, pretty rapidly. So that worries me. What's more important, water or power? <laughs> Both are equally important, DV. All right, so <clears throat> just need to make sure we. Uh, 
take care of that. Let, ooh, here's some slime. Let's sweep that up. Nine, please. Yep. We don't want that slime sliming us around. Putting slime lung in the air. Oh yeah, there's lots of slime lung in the air over here already. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and mark some of these creatures for wrangling. Let's wrangle a couple of those. Wrangle this one. And let's see if there's any other hatches around. We'll see how many I can put in there. I think that's the only ones I see at the moment. There's some dredges. Yeah. There's a couple down here. Alright, let's put those in there and let's see what we get. Do we have anybody set up to capture uh, ranching? Uh, Liam is number one rancher. Very high priority. Uh, tend to domesticated creatures. Affected errands. Wrangle. Relocate. Okay. So yeah. He's pretty much going to be our sole wrangler. I'll turn him down to just up on farming. Okay. And then uh, that should be that should put us where we want to be with. Oh, there he is, wrangling, wrangling some matches. <laughs> And he's tying them up. Good job, Liam. There we go. Tie them up, Liam. Oh, he quit in the middle of it. Come on, man. Seriously? Seriously, bro? Alright. Now we are using up tons and tons of water. That's scary. That is scary. That is scary. Let's go ahead and uh, climb there. In fact, let's climb all the way up. This may burn them. It's only 100 degrees. It's fine. It's fine. I need to get rid of this. This is ridiculous. Deconstruct that. That's ridiculous. Alright, we got our hatches in here. That's very good. Let's, uh... How many hatches can we hold in this thing? Here. Okay. Storing 9 out of 20. Okay. I think it'll... Once it turns into a stable, I think it'll tell us... Uh... I think I can look at, see who's who's happy and who's not, or whatever. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, another hatch. That's a uh, capture. Okay. Nice. Alright, so if I can set up barbecue at some point. Let's see. Research. And cook a wider variety of quality foods at the gourmet meal. Hmm. All right. This should be now a stable. Yes, it is a stable. Critters five. Um, minimum size. Let's see. On assignments, on assignment, all that means. All right, so Liam's in here uh, grooming the hatches, putting a little parfum on them. Oh yeah, beautiful. Uh oh, <laughs> somebody builds Lindsay a ladder for God's sake. <laughs> we almost died. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Almost died. Alright, it's erupting. It's gonna erupt and put more water down, that's good. There goes more water. Oh yeah. 
Emitting steam, 8.2 kilograms per second. That's good. Give me more water. Give me more water. Okay. Excellent. <clears throat> I'm thinking I could uh, put in another little uh, pump here and pump this out into a sieve because yeah, this is separate from our sewer water. Uh, so I could do that and uh, get some extra water going that way. And then there's this water as well in addition to that. Okay. What are we going to research next? Let's see. Plastic manufacturing so we can get those transit tubes. God, we need those transit tubes before Wang loses interest. Let's see here. Uh, Wang. 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 Where are the transit tubes, Wang? I could do uh, the space program. I'm almost done with that. I might as well finish that. Might as well finish that at some point. Must be exposed to space. Okay. I'm probably going to need some spacesuits here soon, then. If we're going to be going into space soon. Uh, so I'll probably need to set up a little bay up here to start having people go up into space. That'd be no problem. And I do need to start gathering up this thing here. So if we look at what was I what was I doing thinking here? What was my intent here? I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure what I was wanting to do here. Let's just cancel that for now. Uh, I'm thinking I want this. I want you, Mr. Uh, hydrogen, I mean nat natural gas. So I'm going to go up to here. I'm going to go up here. And then we are going to dig this out. Like so. There we go. We're going to dig all that out. And we're going to start making up a little room for some uh, natural gas power here as well. We still need to go down here and figure out what's in these other little rooms that we found. Where was that room at? There was one that was going Here's some lockers over here. That was close by. There wasn't much over here, was there? Just a bunch of tiles. Okay. Where was that other room that I found besides this one? Ah, it's over here. Alright, so they do have a path over here. So let's go ahead and set this up. No, actually, the door's on the other side, dummy. Let's set this up to come in here. And let's check out what we got in here. Okay, one intact document remains an old yellowing newspaper clipping. It won't be of much use, but I add it to my database nonetheless. Campus newspaper article. Party time for local students. Mm-hmm. Sports <laughs> that nobody came to the party. Oh boy, that's funny. What we got here? Can I get this? Remove it. Let's uh, look at this computer desk. Unencrypted from Dr. Summers to Dr. Jones. Wait, Joshua, you read Devin's blog? Devin's blog. Oh cool, Devin's writing a new post for Toast of the Town. Oh boy. Okay, well, that's worthless. Um, not exactly sure why I'm coming over here. Can I, can I get this? Can I get any of this here? Ah, it's a, I can have a little, okay. I can get this uh, decorative thing, I guess. That'll be good. <clears throat> All right, so I've got my hatches out of there, so it should be good. If they lay eggs, we should uh, get them and start cracking them, right? 
which is which will be ideal. Are they all happy? Wild, happy, groomed. Uh, he's gonna pop a hatchling out soon because he's at 96%. Okay. Yeah, they're all in good shape. 7% chance of a sage, 2% chance of a stone. Opposite with this one. Okay, cool. We'll start getting some eggs in there and then we can uh, start start doing more hatchery stuff. Hatchery, hatchery, hatchery. Oh, somebody's got a lot of stress here. Salad. What's wrong with you, Salad? Uh-oh, we got a new duplicate, possibly. Got some brine. Um, super duper hard digging. <clears throat> wow, he starts with a tier 3 skill. Whoa. Wow. Let's get Harold. Harold is in. But you know what that means. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need another bedroom. Because Harold now... Uh... Don't have anywhere to sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we need another meal thing too. Uh, I just had to have Harold, didn't I? I wasn't ready for this. Okay. Uh, let's get a mess table just set up here. <laughs> He's just gonna eat by the refrigerator. Sorry, Harold. And then also, Harold, uh, you're just going to sleep out by yourself here. You're going to sleep on top of the hatches. Sorry about that, bud. All right, but he'll have a place to sleep. And we can uh, we can think about modifying that later. All right. I see my calories are really starting to make some headway there, so that's good. Let's look at Salad. Let's find Salad and see what his problem is. But first, let's get Harold set up on researching. And he'll be just doing life support and supplying as well. He is good at digging, so let's get him digging, and let's see, Harold, he's already got super duper hard digging, so let's get him regular hard digging as well, okay, and then Salad, what's, what's wrong with Salad, Salad here, he's got 5% stress, let's see what he's got, uh, I don't know what his problem is. Low oxygen. Cold air. Okay. Alright, well, that that makes sense. I mean, it's not that cold. Where have you been? South where it's, there's cold air. It's pretty warm in all these areas. In fact, that might be a problem that we have to overcome is cold air. I don't know. I don't know what he was doing, but he's okay now. He's, he's getting lowered stress now, so that's good. All right, these hatches are pooping out coal, which is good. That is good. All right, so let's start thinking about getting this processed back into good water. So down here in this area, I will need a water sieve. Uh, or I could put another sieve and carbon skimmer down here. In this area as well. Nah, let's just let this one take care of it. I'll just put in just a sieve over here on this area. So here we got we got our Atmos suits ready already. Good. So Atmos suits uh, probably need a ta textile loom. Uh, they don't, will not fabricate items unless recipes are queued. Okay. Wish it told me what they could make with it. Spins reed fiber into wearable duplicate clothing. So do I need to plant some reed fiber then? Probably. Probably do. Let's go ahead and put in another farm set of farm tiles then. Ooh, a hydroponic farm. Must be irrigated through liquid piping. Hmm. Well, let's just do a regular farm tile for now. We'll pop it right there. <clears throat> More farm tiles. And we can do some reed fiber and some food as well. Okay. But I do want these Atmo suit.
Okay. Exosuit Forge. I don't know. I can't remember what is needed for what. Okay. Exosuit Forge. I'm thinking I might... Well, let's just skip this finish first here. Let's see what we're going to do here. Uh, grub Fruit. Balm Lily. Let's do some Thimble Reeds. I got three seeds, so... get three thimble reed seeds and then we'll uh, plant the rest with food I guess let's look at our recipes here what do we got grub food preserves which are good quality 2400 calories pickled meal is grizzly so let's get grub fruit preserves I think we'll need uh, grub fruit and sucrose how do we get sucrose okay we're gonna need a. Oh, we can get barbecue too now. Nice. We get some grub fruit growing. I don't know where we get sucrose. Uh, grub fruit. Convert CO2 into oxygen. Okay. Got two seeds for this. Okay. Needs uh, sulfur. Oh. I can't plant grab fruit, apparently. Blossom seeds. Uh, floral scent. Can't plant that there either. How come? Oh, I can plant it there. Weird. Can't plant anything in this tile for some reason. Insufficient oxygen generation. Oh, boy. Oxygen produced last cycle, 460. Consumed, four, 529. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get some more oxygen up pumping. Uh, I mean, we've got four electrolyzers in here. My God. I guess we need more. We need more oxygen. We need more. Speeds up the conversion of polluted dirt into polluted oxygen. Okay. Converts rust into oxygen and chlorine. Remove some carbon dioxide. Cons okay, let's go ahead and make an ox another oxygen diffuser. We'll put it up here where the oxygen's a little light. I feel like that'll be good. Let's just put it up uh, here. Oh, some of these need uh, polluted water. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so I probably need a polluted water pump for some uh, polluted water. Otherwise, how are we going to get polluted water? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got some polluted water right here. So. Ah, maybe that's what I was doing with this. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and copy this down here. I'm going to get to some polluted water there. No problem. We can do it. We can do it! Oh man, look, the water is getting so low now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dig out this. Yes, I'm digging into slime, I know. But, you know, what can you do? Let's go ahead and put in a nice door here. We'll do a uh, just a manual airlock to be fine. Keep that slime out. Slime lung, I mean. All right, look at this. We're almost ready to uh, to get into our natural gas here. Got lots of polluted oxygen. Got some slime. Let's go ahead and dig that out. Let's dig all that slime out. Something like that. Yeah, dig all that slime out. Nasty, disgusting slime. What does these things do? They, uh, they eat sulfur and they excrete sucrose. Okay. Interesting. There's lots of sulfur up here for them to eat. I could create a little, uh, farm for these guys to make some sucrose. Yeah. I might 
actually might be worth it. Ceiling collapse. Oh no. Everybody okay? I think everybody's alright. Oh, I need power for that. Dang. I forgot about that. I forgot I need power for... Let's just forget about that. Let's just forget about that. I forgot you need the power for those. So, no problem. No problem. I really just want to get this uh, slime out of here. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Actually, let's just leave this up here. We're going to leave this up here. We're just not going to put any uh, power to it just yet. Because it's, uh, it's probably not going to spread. I mean, there's a little bit of slime lung in the air up here, but it's it's probably going to it's gonna get out of here anyway, so. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Alright, so that's gonna be about it for this episode. Next episode, we're gonna get to work on setting up our natural gas uh, operation here. And uh, hopefully we can get that going. Uh, and help our coal and our <laughs> hydrogen. And, uh, man, we already are struggling for water. And uh, I don't like that one little bit. So we're also going to try to get this going over here for some uh, nice. Uh, I'm going to put a deodorizer in here. Though. For some nice um, water, extra water supply. So I'm going to go just right up here, just like that. And then we're going to put in some nice tile. Just like so. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.